Hey everybody, come with me and see how to change and level the automatic gearbox oil on the AL4 respectively on the DP0 gearbox which can be found in your Citroën, Peugeot and Renault. Today I will be working on a Renault Megane. But before you jump into it, it is always a good practice to check if you can loosen the fill plug on your gearbox. The last thing you want to happen is that you let out all the oil and you cannot fill it up. But don't worry, I will show you everything step by step. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So get your car on jack stands, or as in my case, on ramps. Locate the gearbox oil drain plug, which is on the right side of it, if you are working from the front of the vehicle. It is not a regular drain plug, you will need a size 8 square bit to get it loose. Have a look at it from closer. So remove it, don't get scared if no oil is coming out. There is another tricky part to it. You will need to remove an another drain plug or a better called a leveling plug. You will need size 8 hex bit for that. You can have a better look at it in a bit. So remove the leveling plug but be careful with it, it's from plastic. Let all the oil drain out from the gearbox. In the meanwhile, let's have a look at the leveling plug and how it works. Basically, everything higher than the top of the leveling plug will flow out, I mean the oil. It all will make sense at the leveling. So if the oil is out of the gearbox, put back the leveling plug and the drain plug. Tighten the leveling plug until it doesn't go any further. Basically, when you start to feel resistance, you can stop. It is just plastic, you don't want to cross thread it. Then tighten the drain plug. Now open the hood and start to remove the battery for better access. Remember, if you remove the battery, you will have to re-adapt the power windows and enter the radio code. So if you don't have the code, try to work with the battery in place. So in order to remove it, take off the negative terminal first and the positive terminal. Then there is a T40 Torx bolt at the bottom of it. Remove that one as well. Now you can lift out the battery. Let's remove the battery under tray as well. There will be three T40 Torx bolts and one hex 10 nut holding the plastic under tray. Remove them. Now you can fiddle out the plastic under tray. Finally. Let's find the fill plug. Here it is. As I said in the beginning, it is a good practice to check if you can remove it before you start the whole procedure. To have access to it, undo the clamp on the intake piping and move it out of the way. There is still one thing in the way though, the bracket for the gear stick lever. It is held in place by 313 hex nuts. Undo the nuts and move the bracket slightly to see the fill plug. You will need that size 8 square bit again. Place it into the plug between the hoses and then use a ratchet with an extension to undo it. Now you can fill the gearbox up with oil. I've seen people filling it up from underneath through the drain hole. I mean you can do that if you can't access your fill plug for some reason, but that's not how it's done properly. Anyways, use a Dextron 3 grade oil. The gearbox takes 3 liters, but you have to overfill it with half a liter to level it later. So pour 3.5 liters in it by the help of a very long funnel. Then place everything back where it belongs and tighten the things down. I mean put the bracket, the intake pipe, the plastic under tray and the battery back in place. Also tighten the fill plug. Now you have to use a diagnostic tool or a thermometer, whichever you have access to. Obviously the diagnostic tool is more professional but the thermometer just does the job as well. You will need to monitor the temperature of the gearbox oil. So hook up your diagnostic tool and start up the car. From now on, it is very important that you follow the instructions and do everything exactly the same as shown in the video. So when the car is running, press the brake pedal and move through the gears with your gear selector. Stay in each gear for around 10 seconds. Obviously in D, drive or R, reverse, don't let your foot off of the brake pedal. Now we can use the diagnostic tool. Select from the menu the gearbox temperature. Let the car run. The gearbox oil temperature should be over 60 degrees of Celsius. It will take around good 20 minutes to get there, so chill. Also you can monitor the temperature with the thermometer by pointing it to the gearbox if you don't have access to a scan tool. When the temperature hits the 60 degrees, comes the tricky part. The car needs to be on a flat and level surface. Get under it and undo the drain plug while the car is running. But only the drain plug, the leveling plug stays in place. Be extremely careful as the oil will be hot. I mean hot. 
you should see the oil continuously flowing out at the beginning. That's a good sign. When the oil starts to drip, you can tighten the drain plug. If the oil was dripping from the beginning, it means that you didn't have enough oil in the gearbox. In that case, you will have to wait till the oil cools down and add another half a liter to it and start the leveling procedure once again. If the leveling procedure was successful, you are done with the job. It wasn't that bad and difficult, was it? So here is a little recap on what to do once again. 1. Remove the drain plug and the leveling plug and let the oil drain from the gearbox, put the plugs back. 2. Open the hood, remove the battery, the untray, the intake pipe and the gear stick lever bracket out of the way. 3. Undo the fill plug, fill the gearbox with 3.5 liter of Dextron 3 oil. 4. Put everything back together. 5. Start up the car and cycle through the gears. 6. Hook up the diagnostic tool and monitor the gearbox oil temperature. Should be over 60 degrees of Celsius. 7. Once it reached the desired temperature, undo the drain plug, but just the drain plug. The car should be still running. 8. Let the excessive oil flow out of the gearbox. When it starts to drip, you can tighten the drain plug. 9. If it was only dripping from the beginning, you have to start again from step 3. I hope this video helped you a lot and answered all your questions. However, if you still have any I mean questions, <laughs> feel free to ask them in the comment section. Take care and catch you in the next one.